and welcome back. Thanks ever so much. I've got a hundred subscribers and I know I might have got that from one of these videos of a child flossing or a cat falling off a piano or something like that. But hundred subscribers to me means an awful lot. I want to thank each and every one of you personally. I'm not going to because it's boring for the people who were uh, who aren't who were. Uh, but thank you ever so much for your subscription. It'll be a long time before I get paid, but it's still nice to know that somebody's watching what I'm doing. Otherwise, it ain't any point. So straight on with today's project. Let's move this out of your way. I'm learning as I go here. And one of the mistakes that I've made is trying to get too technical, two cameras and all that kind of stuff. We're sticking with the one camera. I'm going to press to stop and just move the camera around when I need to because it makes editing a hell of a lot easier. Now, today we're doing a seat colour because it's a skill that you're going to need a heck of a lot if you haven't already done one on a bike. All bikes at this age are tatty. I'm going to move the camera in a second and show you. Um, and a decent uh, seat cover is a really cheap way of making your bike look a heck of a lot better. It doesn't need to be a genuine seat cover. Uh, the one that we're going to fit today is from Blue Dog, which is on eBay. I've fitted loads of Blue Dog seat covers. I paid for this. I'm not endorsed by Blue Dog. I just mention it because they're really easy to find. It's I've in, in style with the earlier, in keeping with the earlier style Speedo and the rack that I've, I've done on my little CT here, um, I've picked an earlier style seat cover that's got a ribbon on it. So, you see this later style is completely plain, earlier one's got ribbing on. Now, I've left this on here for a couple of days, stretching into shape, so that you can see it's pretty good. Uh, and it's going to be even better when we've got the seat cover underneath removed. It's going to fit even nicer. Uh, well done Blue Dog, I don't think for a second you're going to be watching, but I'll be buying more seat covers from them because it, it's good, it looks good quality and it's going to make, make the bike look a heck of a lot better for I think about 80 bucks, might be later. It wasn't much, go on eBay, Blue Dog seat cover, uh, it's got a nice bit of padding on, you can see that it's not just a layer of vinyl, it's also got some padding between it. Um, the, the seams on it are nicely, they're in line. I know that sounds daft, but I've had seat covers in the past where these were going off like that. They just look rubbish. Um, not the case of this one here. So we're gonna go straight in with taking the seat off. Okay, CT, we've got um, two 10 mil knots. You don't need a close-up of me on doing a 10 mil nut. In fact, if you can't undo a 10 mil nut, I'd say start there before you uh, before you uh, start taking your seat apart. Perhaps look at a video on how to do a 10 mil nut. So I'm not going to go into that much detail. If you do need it, perhaps this isn't the video for you. Okay, nice and easy. Off that comes. Piece of cake. Now, we always put the bolts back where they come from so that we don't lose them. Put them on there, just hand tight, because it means that they don't get lost. Okay, time to move. So, Please excuse the mess, I'm expecting visitors. So there's the seat. Now, one thing you want to check before you go to any trouble uh, replacing your seat cover is that your seat pan is in condition that's worthwhile. That is to say, there's no po point putting a decent seat cover on a rusty pan that is about to break. And they do take a fair bit of hammering, especially on a bike like this. Might have had a overweight post person on it. 
uh, and it's sort of had a hard life, but this one is done okay. Now there's all sorts of ways of um, fastening the cover on to the base and uh, oh, nails uh, in plastic ones that's nails and there are glues and all sorts of things. This particular one uses little metal clips and you'll see that when you pull yours off. Now never forget plastic doesn't look good does it? That looks rubbish that does. Um, I'm going to pull it out. <laughs> Don't forget the properties of metal because we're going to we're going to bend these tangs back to release this cover, get rid of it. But whenever you're bending metal, don't forget that it will break if you bend it often enough. So we're not going to bend it any further or any longer than is absolutely necessary to get this cover off. So. got there. Now the, oh, okay. Right. So there's the first one and that's going to show me how to go on. Well don't message me I'm recording. So we've got a spike and we've got something that uh, a little clip there that holds the vinyl onto that spike. Very often you'll get just the spike alone like there. There's just three metal spikes but it looks like around the edge here as well as the spike we've got a tang that holds the vinyl onto the spike. So that's how it works. Now one of the not advantages but one of the things that you can bear in mind when you're removing your old seat cover is the old seat cover's worthless. The pan is valuable but the old seat cover's worthless. So if it makes it any easier whatsoever for you to do your job and you can do it without damaging the foam beneath, you can rip it off, you can cut it off, you can do whatever the heck you like to make getting it off easier and like I say in terms of easier I'm talking about bending the metal a little bit less. I'm going to do the rest of these, answer that message and um, once it's ready to come off I'll switch on again. Now just as I was um, pulling one of these tangs down it occurred to me I haven't actually showed you exactly how it works so ease that out a bit underneath there is a spike going the other way. So one goes up, one goes down. Can you see? So that bends down and that bends over it. Onto all the clips. Gonna peel it back see what we've got. Oof. Seen worse. better then. What have they got going on under here? This I think is going to go back on. This um, this here trim prevents the metal, sharp metal edge of the seat pan from cutting through the vinyl. I'm just going to pop this pad 
off the pan because I want to see what all this is. Look at that. That is a mess. It's a right mess. However, it's fairly easy to remove. Now, here's a toffee. This isn't that rusty. Should I stop? And in all of the cases of wood, I don't know if I'm going to on this one. Previously, I wouldn't have hesitated to sand that back and give it a fresh coat of paint to get rid of that rust. But I'm not run out of time, so I'm not cutting corners. This bike is going to stay in this lovely dry garage for a long time, back for the rest of its life with a seat cover that doesn't have any holes in it. So it's not about to get any more rain on it. However, you feel free. It isn't overly difficult to do. Piece of cake, get some kill rust on it. So I'm gonna put this bit of trim, not trim, base protector back on. Did I mention thank you to all my subscribers just while I do this? I'm very grateful. You see how we're feeding that on? This would probably be one of those opportunities for me in editing to work out how to speed something up so I can make this look much, much faster. But I don't think I'll bother. I won't have it all. But you know that I'm keen to show you how long it takes to do something so that when it takes you the same amount of time, you don't think that you're doing it wrong or that there's something not good enough about your method. And in the scheme of things, this bike's, oh, I think it's a 2005 model. So, Crazy to think, it's not far off. It's 18 years old, it's just get... yeah, it's grown up. Oh, quite as much overlap as I would have liked. That we've still got a little bit of sharpness there that's not covered by this. But if I remember rightly, when we first took the old seat cover off, there was a heck of a lot that it uh, it wasn't covering at all. Come on, it's always the last bit, isn't it? Hmm. There that is, that there again. Mm, the seat cover is just here. Obviously the Honda logo goes at the back. Now it says on the instructions for this, Always do it when it's warm. And 
being a plastic based vinyl. Oh, hang on a second. It will obviously benefit from that. <sighs> I have got the first, I've, I've gone for these back ones. I've got the first three tangs on and I've got a couple at the front. So we're held at the front and the back. And I've just moved the camera so that I can show you where I'm up to. Now this little trim, this little protector strip, oh, it wants to keep coming off. It just keeps coming off. But that's okay. You've got to keep putting it back on. And then stretch over that tang. You see it? Just trying to poke through there. Oh, pushed it through. Feed all that other stuff in behind it. Bend that down. Bend that up. And we are something like it was and we took it off so again same on the opposing side make sure that you trim is over the steel particularly with rusty steel which this is this will cut through your seat cover in a relatively short space of time so this really will be worth pushing it back on like that. So you push that on, let's give myself a little bit more space there. Keeping that, just checking that I can see that, you can see that, sorry I can see it. Hold it over, pull it over that hook, that hook, that spike. There's the spike. Feed that into there. Bend the spike up. Bend the holder down. Another one done. Here yeah, we're getting there. This might not look as good as a brand new seat. It might not. It'll look pretty good for what it cost which is very much what I'm about. So if you've got a better idea or it's buy a new one or that doesn't look new, that's okay. This isn't for you. It works for me. Uh, I'll do one more and then I'll turn the camera off because you don't need to see everyone. So there's your spike. The trim is on. Pull it over. Make sure that you get it far enough over. There it is. Come on. And I'm just forcing it onto that spike. Push that spare material down in there. And that up bend that down and then I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to carry on doing that all the way around but I'm not going to waste your time with seeing it. Whew. It's a it's a lot of wrestling actually. Let me just adjust that as you can see me too. It's a lot of wrestling <laughs> and a lot of, oh there we go, I missed one there. A lot of this sort of stuff is you wrestle to get it over the uh, the tang there. You bend that down. You bend that up. Doesn't look so tidy here. Let's see if we can get you over a bit better. Tangs being rusty. Sometimes when I bend, sorry, 
bend or break before they want to pierce the vinyl. And it doesn't look fabulous, but it looks better. And that's what we're aiming for. It does look better than it did. Let's bend that down. Bend that down. We've got one broken just there. I've done better jobs. I've been happier with jobs. I've been sadder with jobs. I'm going to bolt this back on now and then we'll have a quick. Ooh, you don't look good. And then we'll have a look around with the camera, see what you think. Some click you. There you go. Not perfect, but not dreadful and not expensive and better than it was before. more time perhaps not doing it with one eye on the viewfinder might have been a bit better um, but hey I've got other stuff to do now take care thanks ever so much for subscribing really appreciate it and we'll be cracking on with the sidecar next episode all right see ya